Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss two concepts. In that first one, testing methods applicable at the class level, and second one, inter-class test case design. Among these two, the first one, testing methods applicable at the class level. So in this concept, we have two points. One is random testing for object-oriented classes and second one partition testing at the class level. Under these testing methods applicable at the class level, we need to discuss these two points. So in that, the first one is random testing for object-oriented classes. That means in object-oriented classes, how we can apply testing randomly. To explain this random testing in object-oriented classes, we need to take an example of banking application and account as a class. But this comes to the point. To provide brief illustration of these methods, of these methods, consider a banking application as an example in which an account class has the following operations. So to explain random testing for object oriented class. So please assume the banking application as an example in that account taken as a class. So an account class have the following operations nothing but open, account opening, account setup, depositing some amount into the account, withdrawing some amount from the account, checking the balance in the account, asking summary from the account, credit limit of the account and closing the account. So these are the operations we are performing in the account. So when you want to test this class, what we are doing, first we want to open the account, second we want to set up the account, then we need to deposit some amount into the account and then close the account. This is a type of uh, testing an account whether the account is working properly or not then random testing is we are taking another random test randomly we are testing that class whether it is working properly or not so apart from this first step of testing so second random testing is nothing but open the account set up the account withdraw some amount from the account and close the account it is one type of testing then sector one, open the account, set up the account and saw the balance in the account and close the account. Then another one will be open the account, set up the account, uh, view the credit limit of the account and close the account. So in this manner, randomly we can test the class account in the object oriented environment. So this is the concept of random testing of our object oriented classes. Then the second concept in this concept is partition testing at the class level. So partition testing means, we know already what is meant by partitioning. Partition means dividing into parts. So partition testing always reduces the number of test cases required to exercise the classes, that means to test the classes, if you use partition testing, it reduces the test classes and it simplifies the testing also. To test or by applying partition testing in the classes, we have three different categories. Those are nothing but first one, state-based partitioning, attribute-based partitioning and category-based partitioning. These are the three different categories are available in partitioning testing. So in that, the first one, state-based partitioning. So state-based partitioning means this category class operations based on the ability to change the state of the class. So that means in our example, we are taking the banking application as an example in that account as a class. In that account, if we deposit some amount it change the state of that class, account class. That means in, a, in your account, we have 10,000 rupees. If you deposit that some 5,000 rupees extra, then account change from 10,000 to 15,000. So the state of the account or class is changed. 
per request. In your account, you have 10,000 rupees, you withdraw 5,000 rupees, then your account class may change from 10,000 to 5,000. So, sir, the state of the class may change. So, this is nothing but state based partitioning. Then come to the second partition method, attribute based partitioning. Attribute based partitioning in this category class operations based on the attributes that they use. That means to do any works. So, what are the different attributes you are used in your account class? So, in the account, we have some attributes that nothing but balance and credit limits. These are all the attributes in class, account class. So based on these attributes, if any partitioning testing is happened, they are comes under attribute based partitioning. Then come to the third one, category based partitioning. So category based partitioning means this category, this category class operation based on generic functions that each performs. That means the category based partitioning mainly depends upon cat generic functions. So here what are the different functions are available in the account class list? Opening the account, set up the account, deposit account, withdraw function in the account, close functions. So the operations which are based on these functions, so such type of partitioning method is called as category based partitioning. So these are the three different types of partitioning methods are available in partitioning testing. So this is first concept. Then goes to the second concept in today's class is inter-class test case design. So inter-class test case design means test class test case design becomes more complicated as integration of object oriented system begins. So whenever the test case design becomes more complicated means the test case design is not complicated in unit testing, but it is become more complicated in the integration testing. What it does means at this stage that testing the collaboration between classes. So in the integration testing itself, we are testing the collaborating classes. So that's why it became more complicated. So collaboration between classes will be called here as inter-class. So that's why the concept will be called as inter-class test case design. So for the collaboration between the classes, to test that collaboration, we want to design test cases. That's why the concept will be called as inter-class test case design. So to explain this inter-class test case designs, we need to discuss two points. One is multiple class testing and second one, test derived from behavioral models. So in that, the first one, multiple class testing, how we can test multiple classes. For that, Kirani and Tishai suggested the following sequence of steps to generate multiple class random test cases. So based on Kirani and Tishai suggestions, how we can generate multiple class random test cases. In that, the first point is for each client class, use the list of class operations to generate a series of random test sequence. So first come to the, here two, two parts are there, one is client and server. First we are taking the client classes. For each client classes, use the list of class operations to generate a series of random test sequence. So based on the operations, what they are used in the client's class, generate a series of test sequence. The operations will send message to other server classes. So these test sequences operations will send messages to the server classes. This is the first point. Then for each message, so from each message that is generated, determine the collaborator class and the corresponding operations in the server objects. So from the client class, what is the message we are sender to the server classes? Those message that is generated determine the collaborator and the corresponding operations in the server classes. 
So from client class, what is the message we are sending to the server classes? Those messages determines the collaborator class and the corresponding operations in the server class. Now come to the third point. For each operation in the server objects, determine the messages that it transmits. So after coming to the server objects, each operation in the server object that determines the message that is transmitted. Then in the fourth point, for each of these messages determine the next level of operations that are invoked and incorporate those into test sequence. Then, so here Desai and Kirani suggested four points in that first Point says from the client side, what are the operations it performs? For that, it generate a message and send to server. In the server, what are the collaborations and incorporations will be takes place? It will be determined in the server side and sends to the server objectives. Server objectives determine the message that is transmitted, and this message determines the next level of operations and invoke and incorporate those into test sequences. So these are the four steps. So Kirani and Tisai suggested for multiple class testing. Based on these four points, we can test multiple classes. Then come to the second point in this concept is test derived from behavioral models. So behavioral models, since we already know to explain or to describe these behavioral models, we are using state diagrams. So based on those state diagrams, we can derive tests. tests. So for that we have the first point. The use of the state diagram as a model that represents the dynamic behavior of a class. So we want to describe or explain the dynamic behavior of the class, we can use state diagram as a representation. You already know this point. By using such state diagram for a class can be used to help derive a sequence of tests that will exercise the dynamic behavior of the classes. So to test the dynamic behavior of the class, we are using state diagrams to derive the test cases. So that is the concept of test derived from behavioral models. So in today's class, we discuss two concepts. One is testing methods applicable at the class level and second one in that class test case design. So in the first concept, we discuss two points, random testing for object oriented classes and second one point is partitioning testing at the class level. In the partitioning testing, we have three points. One is state-based partitioning and second one is attribute-based partitioning and third one is category-based partitioning. So in the inter-class test case design, we have two points. Multiple class testing and test derived from behavioral models. So based on these two concepts, we have some assignment questions.